Yeah, you can you can follow this down here where it gives you the error. Just click on that line and click go to next message, which is this little arrow, and it'll show you where the the uh, mistake is. And it says syntax error missing, and then it has a semicolon and single quotes before return. So it's missing the semicolon, which is this is how it was, and then it's missing the semicolon before return, which means it's right there. Put the semicolon in there, and now it should work. All right, that works. Now let's try it. One is into the second number you would like to add. Two. 1 plus 2 equals 3. Okay, it works. I'm just putting space, I just put spaces in there so that when I run it, it will put space in between the equal sign. I love this stuff sometimes. Okay, now we have this. 2. Oops, can't do that with this one. It's two equals four. Okay, now you see that I have double indels, which double space this, and then when I went to this one, it spaced it there too. And so let's go ahead and take these off, and I'll show you what they don't, what you, what the, what it does without it. Computer starting to lag here. What the? Okay, I don't know what this is, so I'm going to pause this and then I'll be back. Ah, stupid me. What I did was I left the uh, program running, and so you can't have two programs running at the same time in the debug console at least. So, try this again, and as you see it comes up, do two, and then now, since I took that escape function out, it doesn't double space up there, then you enter two again, and I just like the way it's double spaced everywhere, it looks a lot cleaner to me. So I'll put those back in there. Now, now I'll show you a couple of these system functions that I was talking about. So if you want to uh, title, change the title of your program, what you can do is type system parentheses title, oh, it's going to be in quotes, space, whatever you want to call it, I'm going to call it addition calculator, okay, and now we'll see what this does, crap, right, this is my call, keep reading Now, as you see, it updated addition calculator. Okay, now if you want to change the color, I'll show you a little trick that I found. And what you do is type color and then have your number, it's, it's in numbers, so I'm going to have that. Uh, Alright, and here, this has all the color, the, the digits that you can use. As you see, black is 0 and white is all the way to F. 
if you've ever done any HTML, it's basically the same thing. And so let's see what kind of colors we want to do. Let's, let's do blue. Blue with uh, let's do blue with bright white. So that'll be that'll be one F. Computer's lagging with Camtasia here, and as you see, we have blue with bright white text. The the first the first digit is the uh, background color, and the second one is the text color. Just thought I'd let you know that. So we have that, and I think that's all I was going to go over. So. Until the next tutorial, just keep experimenting and uh, try to figure things out on yourself. If you want, try to figure out how to uh, uh, put subtraction in here. Same principle. But you can't do both with this. So, the next tutorial, I'll go over some switches and teach you how to do a more advanced calculator. So visit my website at www.geocities.com slash computers m plus. I'll type that up here. And I have all kinds of stuff on there. I will have source code posted up there sometime this week. And I'll also have the higher resolution video of this. And uh, so here's what it looks like. To get to the tutorials, go to tutorials and click C video tutorials. I'm on a higher resolution so this doesn't screw up. It doesn't look like this. As you see, I have a download higher resolution video and source code. And it will be the second video will be listed under here. And uh, check out my forum and uh, sign up. I can answer all your questions in there. Nobody's joined yet. Need some, need some members. So just check that out. And till next time, that's it. Bye.